we found that, first of all, involving family members in therapy up to recovery rates. Mm -hmm. When the partner realizes, which takes a little while, because when, when, when he or she starts off, they're pretty mad. It takes right. a while to get to, to get some perspective. They have to learn so much about, you know, don't talk to me about a brain disease. You know, he, you cheated on yeah, me. Yeah, you, yeah. It just, you go for the emotions, which, as it turns out, often they have a history of going for emotions anyway. But the point is, is and, and we learned that in alcoholism. The Al-Anon has said for years the spouse is sicker, which turns out to be true because they've been traumatized. They, the broken promises, the lies, have traumatized these people. And the spouses have more distress than the addicts. The children have more distress. Parents have more distress. And so there's some real truth to that. When they figure out that they are also part of the problem and they need to get help for themselves, then a big shift happens in the family. The whole thing starts to work differently. And that's really critical. Oftentimes the family is about six months ahead of the addict in that process of understanding that there's a problem.